Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, said he expects AGI to arrive in the next decade and that it could have massive risks for humanity, such as misuse, accidents, and societal disruption. Demis Hassabis, the founder and CEO of DeepMind, said he thinks AGI is possible and inevitable, but that it is hard to estimate when it will happen. He said that he hopes to create a system that can learn from any kind of data and perform any kind of task. Welcome to today's video where I will explain what AGI is and why you should be prepared for it. This is a technology that will have a greater impact on your life in more ways than you can imagine. So without further delay, hit that subscribe button and let's get to it. Artificial intelligence is a fascinating and controversial topic. It refers to the hypothetical ability of machines to perform any intellectual task that humans can do, such as reasoning, learning, planning, creativity, and problem solving. This level of AI begins to think almost like a human or even better. Some people believe that AI is possible and something that will be good for humanity. They think that it could lead to amazing breakthroughs in science, technology, and society. Others are not so convinced or even afraid of it. They worry that it could pose an existential threat to humanity or cause ethical and social problems. What do you think? AGI is already a work in progress. Companies such as OpenAI, DeepMind, and Anthropic are just a few of the research projects working on this concept. It sounds like something out of science fiction, so it's normal to question whether the creation of AGI is near or even possible. Even though a lot of tech companies are working to create AGI bots, it's important to remember how challenging and ambitious this is. One way to approach this question is to look at some of the current state-of-the-art AI systems and compare them with the capabilities and limitations of human intelligence. Some AI systems can perform specific tasks very well, such as playing chess, recognizing faces, or translating languages. These systems are often called narrow AI or weak AI because they only have one or a few specialized skills. They are not adaptable across diverse domains or tasks, and they do not exhibit human-like understanding or reasoning. On the other hand, some AI systems can learn from data and perform multiple tasks across different domains, such as AlphaGo, ChatGPT, or DALI. These systems are often called general AI or strong AI because they can potentially achieve human-level intelligence or beyond. They can also demonstrate some aspects of human-like understanding or reasoning, such as common sense knowledge, casual inference, or creativity. These systems are still far from achieving AGI in the sense of being able to learn anything that a human can learn and perform any intellectual task that a human can perform. There are many challenges and open problems that need to be solved before we can reach this level of intelligence. Besides, we don't have a way of measuring how intelligent an AI system is. We need to develop methods for measuring and evaluating the performance and capabilities of AGI models first. Then we have to have a system in place ensuring the alignment of AGI with human values and ethical principles, so we can manage the risks of misuse, accidents, and societal disruption that can be caused by AGI. These challenges require the collaboration of researchers from different fields such as computer science, mathematics, psychology, philosophy, ethics, economics, sociology, and more. They also require careful consideration of the social and ethical implications of creating artificial general intelligence. According to a 2020 survey of 738 AI experts who published at the 2021 NIPS and ICML conferences, the median estimate for the 50% probability of high-level machine intelligence was 2059. HLMI is defined as when unaided machines can accomplish every task better and more cheaply than human workers. However, the survey also showed a wide range of opinions, with some experts predicting HLMI as early as 2030 or as late as 2100. Other surveys and research have also provided similar or different estimates for AGI, depending on the definition, methodology, and sample of the study. For instance, a 2009 survey of 21 AI experts estimated AGI will occur around 2050 and maybe sooner. A 2012-2013 survey of 550 AI researchers estimated that there was a 10% chance of AGI by 2022, a 50% chance by 2040, and a 90% chance by 2075. The closest time frame is 2030, but there is no convincing indication that we will have AGI that soon. One field that continues to drive robotics and artificial intelligence to new frontiers is the military. It's important to think about what AGI could mean in this context. AGI could enable new forms of warfare, transforming traditional combat methods with its autonomous and unpredictable nature. 
For instance, it could lead to the development of self-operating weapon systems like drones, robots, or advanced cyber attacks, fundamentally altering the landscape of warfare. AGI could pose new challenges and risks for the military and society. It could be used for malicious purposes by enemies to rogue actors, such as hacking, espionage, sabotage, or terrorism. It could also raise ethical and legal questions about the responsibility and accountability for the actions and outcomes of AI systems. However, there are not many dedicated AGI projects in the military domain, according to a 2020 survey of AGI projects for ethics, risk, and policy. The survey found that most AGI projects are based in academic or corporate institutions, and only a small handful of projects have military connections, mostly involving basic research. But don't let this fool you, because most superpowers rather keep these types of projects top secret. We already know that AI plays a big role in military drone operations, and the government has always been interested in having autonomous robot soldiers. One military program that has caught the public attention is DARPA's Artificial Intelligence Exploration Program, which aims to create a series of high-risk, high-payoff projects that explore new concepts and applications of AGI. Some of the projects include developing AGI systems that can reason about uncertainty, causality, and counterfactuals creating AGI systems that can learn from natural language instructions, and designing AGI systems that can adapt to changing environments and tasks. The University of Texas at Austin's Artificial Intelligence Laboratory researches various aspects of AGI, such as learning, reasoning, planning, and natural language processing. Some of the projects are funded by the U.S. Department of Defense, the U.S. Air Force, and the U.S. Army. Some of the applications include developing AGI systems that can assist human decision makers, support military operations, and enhance cybersecurity. In the UK, the University of Edinburgh Centre for Intelligence Systems and their applications conducts research on various aspects of AGI, such as knowledge representation, reasoning, planning, and natural language processing. Some of the projects are funded by the UK Ministry of Defence, the UK Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, and the European Defence Agency. Some of the applications include developing AGI systems that can support military intelligence, command and control, and logistics. However, it seems that AGI development in the military domain is still in its early stages and faces many challenges and uncertainties. But AGI would not be limited to military applications. It may find more use in scientific research. We are looking at a future where AGI could enhance the capabilities and performance of scientists, such as researchers, engineers, and educators. It could provide them with better tools for data analysis, simulation, experimentation, and visualization. AGI could enable new forms of scientific discovery and innovation that are more creative, diverse, and interdisciplinary. Climate change is one of the most urgent and complex problems that humanity faces. AGI could help us better understand the complexities of climate change, help find new ways to mitigate its effects, and could analyze the impacts of climate change on different regions, sectors, and populations, and suggest optimal adaptation and mitigation strategies. An AI tool may help in overseeing and managing where greenhouse gas emissions come from and where they get stored. AGI could be a game changer in automatically checking out photos of power stations, factories, forests, and oceans. It can also keep us regularly updated on how much they're emitting or storing stuff like greenhouse gases. AGI has benefits, but there are also drawbacks. Many ethical, social, and moral problems could pop up. Intelligent machines and their makers have rights, duties, and values to consider. Like how do we deal with AGI that seem to think or feel like people? How do we make sure AGI values human respect and freedom? How do we stop bad people from using it the wrong way? AGI might cause accidents or hurt people in our surroundings. How do we create AGI systems that are strong, trusted, and safe? We don't have all the answers yet about AGI. It really makes you wonder what kind of surprises we're going to run into, doesn't it? Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all of our other videos.